Welcome to episode 119, where we are in Lavina, Bali, and we visit the most spectacular waterfalls, sail on our way to Jakarta, and Bella turns 12. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. I don't want to grow up. We are in Lavina, at the northern part of Bali, Indonesia, and today we visit the most beautiful waterfalls in Bali. This area is home to many waterfalls. Where are we? Ayub. Ertujin. What's the name of this place? Kumpa Waterfall. Kumpa? What's up? Kumpa Waterfall. Beautiful. And this luscious rainforest is about an hour drive from Singigi and about an hour and a half drive from Lavina. If you like waterfalls and you come to Bali, these are a must-see. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. There are three groups of waterfalls here and are all a 10 minute walk from each other. This last group of waterfalls is the Fiji Waterfalls and it has three waterfalls here. You pay to enter 50,000 rupiah, which is about five Australian dollars that goes to the local village here. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. We cross some pretty quality built bridges and enter into paradise. These were our last waterfalls and absolutely breathtaking.
Ollie and the kids had had enough, but me, I could sit under a waterfall all day. What a magical way to end our time here in Bali. Honestly, if you do come to Bali, come here. Lee found this doobie whacker water thing. It reminded me of the thing off The Simpsons. Greatest invention in the world! You'll make a million dollars! The next morning, Lee and I rented a scooter to pick up our visas and to do the last market run into town. Immigration from where you anchor in Lavina is only a 10 to 15 minute scooter ride and the closest town to Lavina is Singigi, which is about 20 minutes away. We got our fresh fruit and veggies and headed back. Bella was keen to drive, so Lee took her for a little bit of practice. So you got Fun, you oh, too. We're going to get some cabbage that we forgot from the market. Eggs, eggs, eggs and cabbage. No, no. Just the one right on the side of the road. You guys, yeah, what do you have on the side of the you ordering? I don't know, something We'll order food, you go get some provisions. Alright, have fun. Later, Gators. Bye. Alright, so Daddy's taking Bella on the motorbike to get some more provisions and we're going to go get Bella birthday presents that she doesn't know about because we got some that she knows but we thought we'd, we'd find some surprises and ended our last day here with a beautiful sunset and Catalpa. Hey, so it's 3am and we're leaving Bali so we've been in Bali for a little while now and um, just pulled anchor from Lamina so we're heading towards Jakarta so we're going to pick up Jay and he's going to jump on the boat. We're heading to the Mentalites. So, super excited for this next leg and some surfing. And yeah, it'll be fun, but it's 3 a.m. I'm tired. Hopefully, we have a good, uh, I think it's like 150 nautical miles till we can stop again. So, see how we go. Tomorrow's Belle's birthday. 12 which is crazy and uh hoping we can stop somewhere because she doesn't want to be sailing on her birthday so so we left bali we left lavina this morning at about 3 a.m at about 3 a.m lavina we've uh sailed most of the day the wind dropped out so motoring into the evening uh, hopefully we get a bit more wind later maybe but uh, it doesn't look too good we'll check the Iridium weather again and 
and uh, see what it says. But um, otherwise, yeah, we've got about a four day passage, I suppose. We're not going to stop because we've got a friend that's going to be waiting in Jakarta, so we've got about four days to get there. And It's about five, six hundred nautical miles to Jakarta. And we're, we're going to stop, but we're, we don't think we are because we've got to get and meet our new crew member because he'll be there waiting for us. But hopefully, it's a nice night of sailing. We can turn the engine off and just cruise. It'll be lovely. Carousels of memory Spinning around inside of me I've never felt
on a day. It can be whatever day you want because it's your birthday. Happy birthday. She would like one of my rings. <laughs> Bella, was sure. Bella said she'd share with me. Now we're sort of matching. Oh. And I also have this one. Now it's time to pamper the birthday girl with a manicure. Lee's having a sleep because he had most of the night up. Last night, I um, every time I took over, something had happened, so he had a bit of a sleep, but not much. And uh, yeah, we had a bit of an interesting night. We got a little bit too close to a boat, like metres away from a big tanker towing another boat, and uh, it was totally my fault. Told Lee to go down and have a sleep, and uh, yeah, it was, I misjudged it. Didn't realise we were so close, and then the boat put his spotlight on us and lit up all his boat, and he was right next to us. Could have been very, very bad, and uh, it was totally my fault. What's happening? There's a fish. Oh, it's been a while, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of birthday luck. But It's on like Donkey Kong. Bring it in, baby. Here we go, Tash. We're so exciting. We've got a fish for months. Oh, my arm doesn't matter. Why? What is it, guys? Sorry to leave you hanging, guys, but we wanted to offer something special for the first person that comments down below the correct answer to what fish Lee catches, then we're going to send you a Sailing Catalpa t-shirt. Good luck, guys. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Oh, thanks to y'all. So join us up next on Sailing Catalpa as we continue our sail to Jakarta. Remember guys, if you liked that video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more.